So I may have found something to contend with the Preston Edge Monster 8.5 meter, and that is the Advanta 8.5 meter margin pole. Now, just before I get into this video, everybody, I do want to say if you are enjoying the content, make sure you leave a massive like on the video, make sure you subscribe. Let's keep growing this channel and build a great community, and I do massively appreciate it. And also post your comments down below if you've tried this pole out or what margin pole you have. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. So I have in my hands the Advanta Power Margin Pole, 8.5 meter guys. And like, I, like I've said in previous videos, I've done a lot of the Advanta range. And if you don't know and you, you know you're new to this channel, what Advanta is, essentially Advanta is Angling Direct home brand. And to be honest with you, I've been well impressed with it recently, with the stuff that they've brought out, with the stuff that they've made. And I've been using this now for a good few months. I didn't want to just do this review and then say, you know, oh, it's good or what have you and whatnot. Now, I believe at the time when I bought this, Paul, it was about 130 some pound. I will put the price up somewhere on the screen. And as I always say, you guys can be the judge of that price. Now, I do know that the Preston Edge Monster 8.5 meter is about 150 pounds. I'm going on brand new prices, again, along the lines of that. So this one is, you know, this is a couple, this is probably a, on average about 20, 25 quid cheaper. Now, first thing is the colour scheme. I love this red and black with the little white. It's got obviously the 8.5 meter and then the margin written on the end. Then you've got power and then Advanta. Now, I'm going to talk about the main section first. Now, it's very easy to ship back and forth through the hands. And also, it's got a bung on the bottom and then a bung on the top bit, which I'm struggling to take right off because it don't come off much. Now, as always, with most poles, you do get a reinforced bit where it joins up to the other sections. And as you can see, Advanta have not scrimped and scraped. That is solid as a rock. And even just the normal section, it is solid, guys. I am not joking. I, I can't get over the, the strength of this pole. It's ridiculously good. So, the next thing, let's talk about sections. So the Advanta 8.5 meter comes with two sections as well as your top kit. And the sections, again, are solid as a rock. They are so, so solid. They have a tiny bit of flex in them. But honestly, guys, I would have no worries about these failing. And, and they're a very nice material. You work well. And again, they're not, don't get me wrong, where it joins up here, they're not as strong as other poles I've, I've felt, but these are poles costing double the amount, which I think is very good. So obviously that's sort of like your number uh, three section, if you like. And again, I will be mentioning some little negatives in this video, but they're nothing that bad. They're nothing to worry about. But with a lot of margin poles, and I'm going to keep comparing this to the Preston Edge Monster a lot because I feel like how this pole is and what it includes is very much like the edge monster. So another thing, on the bottom of the pole, it doesn't have a number to say what section that is or anything. And again, when they've gone together, I'm pressing on that and it's solid as a rock. So as far as the sections go, very nice. And like I said, very easy to ship back and forth. Now, this is where it gets a little bit rubbish for me with the Advanta pole and that is you get a lovely protective tube for the main section so you get a nice protective tube it's really strong does the job solid as a rock perfect you get you also get two top kits and i'm going to talk more about the top kits in a minute but this is the tube you get for the top kits which you'd think that's all right, but once you have elasticated this top kit, guys, and this is where it really gets bad for me. So as we all know, when you elasticate a top kit, 
it has to go like that because the elastic comes off it. Now, when you, if you were to think, oh, I want to use the case to put it back in, it doesn't fit. So really, once you've elasticated it, this case becomes redundant. And I just don't understand that, guys. I think that's just a bit... It just, it just seems, to me, it's pointless. It doesn't, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So essentially, like I said, that is the only way it fits in if you put the very top bit of the top kit in and then it literally slides in. So technically, the, the purpose of this is, is only good when you've actually not got your top section elasticated. That is the only time that this is doing its rightful purpose. One thing that I do want to say that is a positive is the mini extension or dolly butt. This comes in a nice protective tube and it fits and it's got a purpose. Now I'm going to try and get this open for you guys, but as you know, with, with Paul new things, you have to literally be incredible to get the, the bit off. And again, this is nice. It says mini extension. It's gone with the same color scheme. This is half a meter long, this one. So that will take it to its true 8.5 meter. But if you don't want to fish this, you will be fishing at 8.5 meter. So what I'm going to do for you guys, I'm going to fish all of the sections. I'm not going to bother plumbing up the rig. I've just got a rig plumbed up at a standard thing and we'll just fish it shallow. It's mainly to show you guys the bounce in this and if it has much bounce at all. And again, this is another great thing. The top kits are solid as a rock. Now for me, sometimes these little PTFE bushes can come very loose. And I've had it before on other poles where the bushes actually, uh, I've, I've ordered the pole, it's come, and the bush has actually fallen out, which is, which is quite bad. And these are from really well-made brands. So sometimes if they do fall out, you just glue them back in, then it shouldn't really be a problem. As for the top kit, you do get, a nice little thing to remind you what it is. I don't know if you guys can see that. Power top kit. And yes, they come with a side roller puller, which I think is a massive plus, you know, for the price of this thing. And then you've got a nice little carbon wrap around that side roller puller, just because, again, you know, that's where they've drilled it and just to make it strong. And to be fair, they are good, good side roller pullers. They work very well. And again, I it's pretty much standard top kit length, whereas with the Edge Monster, I think it's a little bit longer. So that's the top kit again, very nice and very strong. I've landed all sorts on this, as you guys can see, I'm literally bending the hell out of that. And it's solid as a rock and it feels lovely. It feels well made. Again, if we just go to the end of here and squeeze this, it, 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 it's solid guys. I'm so impressed with the durability on this pole. This is the case you get with it. I'll flip it around so you guys can see. It's very similar to the Preston Edge Monster. It's it's not a bad case. It does the job. It has the little like elasticated bits. Obviously, it's not gonna be as strong as a solid case that you'd get from Guru or Preston or whatever, but it kind of, it does the job and it's all right. The one thing to worth mentioning, like I said, and for me, it is a big letdown with this case. I would recommend getting a protective tube for your top kits if you do chuck your pole around a lot. Because this, well, I don't think it's really going to protect it from getting damaged. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing, guys, is I'm going to be shipping it at full, it's full range. I've got the dolly button, everything. Now, Sadly, like an umpt here, I haven't brought my rollers, but we should be all right. And then I'm just going to tip the pot in. And one thing I want to say, guys, it is very, 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 very light at this range. I'm going to have to be very careful because I can't see much um, out there. So I've just got it down there. And I'm not joking, guys. I can literally hold it with one hand and it's absolutely fine. Now, it does have a little bit of wobble in the end of it. So that's, so as you guys can see, we're already into a fish and I'm just gonna come back. I don't know what fish it is, but I'll just get it back onto, its onto the thing and 
it's a little perch but look at this as you guys can see the top kit is working it's magic with the bounce it is a very bouncy pole guys oh yeah oh wow we're in we're in oh my god this is perfect guys this is absolutely perfect i think we're caught in the weed though oh yeah i think we're caught in the um in the snags guys damn it but as you guys can see look at that backbone that this has got i think we're snagged Come on, come on, wow. I don't know if we're gonna get this back guys, you know. That is, I mean, as you guys can see like that is, whatever that was, that has bolted. Oh yes, I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Whatever it is, it's literally taking me through all the lily pads. Wowzers. That is unreal. Oh my God. It's a tension. That is the reward. A beautiful green bar of soap. So the Advanta pole is very good. So if that weren't a good test on this pole, that was mad. We literally hooked into a tenge it snagged us in the lily pad and we managed to grab it we managed to pull the elastic and get it out of the lily pads and land it i'm glad i got that on camera for you guys because that's what i mean when i said this thing is strong as an ox and it works brilliantly so to be honest with you guys i think for the price it's brilliant i think as well for a brand new one you should definitely get this my only qualm with this I mean, the little numbers on the bottom, on the top kits, that doesn't really bother me. What bothers me is the fact that the top kit cases are just small. And then, obviously, you know, when you've elasticated that top kit, you can't put it back in. It just, it doesn't make sense. Now, I believe the Preston comes with one case for your top kit, and then you have to buy another one for that. So, really, they both, they both have the faults and other stuff. But I definitely think that the Advanta one is just as good as the Preston Edge Monster, which is, it's madness. I mean, I can only go on my testing, it feels the same. In fact, if anything, this feels a tiny, tiny bit lighter. I'm not sure of the grams and stuff. Eventually, I might do a versus with the Preston Edge Monster and this and do a bit of a battle with them. But honestly, guys, if you're on a bit of a budget, just get this it's a great margin pour or maybe even if you want to just fish 8.5 meters out and you can't be bothered to bring your massive pole with you this will definitely do the job it's a brilliant pole i'd highly recommend it guys go check one out they're just so good if you do just buy uh, them little cases for your top kits and you should be good to go but apart from that this thing is brilliant and i think it's just proved it by uh, when we got that tench post in the comments down below if you have one of these uh, and what you think of it if not definitely go check one out if you're looking for a margin pole or if you've got a daughter or a son who are getting into fishing this would be perfect or even if you're starting up fishing yourself and you want something that's reliable this will do the job and make sure you subscribe as well for new videos every single week i upload reviews i upload all sorts of different kinds of fishing videos so hit that bell so you're notified when they do get uploaded. And as always, safe you're fishing. Have a good one.